This is basically the idea is you take pieces of colored stone originally and you place them in a on the wall or a floor um, to create a pattern or design. Um, basically a picture that's going to last for a very long time. Um, there are mosaics in Pompeii that are thousands of years old and they're still up. Basically what we've done is in modern times we've used tile. Um, you can find a lot of broken tile at tile stores that they'll either give you or sell you really cheap. Um, it's good because it's a use of a waste material that would just go into a landfill otherwise and you can do it for artistic purposes. The downsides are you, it takes longer to fit in the pieces and uh, you do have to spend a little more time grouting because not everything's going to be perfect and aligned and you're going to have some sharp edges and stuff. Yeah, it's sitting on top of a hardy backer or uh, you can also use dirt rock. Draw it out and then start putting your tiles on uh, to create your design. And uh, you can do it. This was done with smaller pieces. We actually broke some tiles, um, broke some broken tiles into smaller pieces to get a finer mosaic. You can also do mosaic with large pieces up to like that. Um, just big chunks that are in random things and you can do designs in between them and stuff. Um, we'll probably do another one like that later. But right now we're going to get ready to grout this. Uh, what we've done is after um, all this was finished, you use either um, thin set mortar or a uh, mastic type glue um, to put up your tiles and what that does is it just adheres, it's a waterproof thing and ideally you want those to you want that mastic to be, be back behind it because the grout needs to come in and fill in all those cracks if uh, like for instance right here some of the mastic started to squeeze out of the joints what we had to do is go in with a tiling uh, a grout tool and scrape out that mastic which is a real pain so the cleaner you can get it when you're doing the mastic the better that'll make your life easier we've got putty knife very useful for spreading your mastic your grouting tool that I talked about earlier it's got a little tr uh, triangle at the end made of carbide steel and it's really tough and it can get in there and actually scrape through the tile, scrape out mastic, pretty much anything you want to eat away, it'll go through it. Then you've also got your tile nippers. You can see they don't close all the way. They just close part of the way and what that does is it just pinches through the tile enough to break it where you want it. Any kind of scraper or cutting anything you're doing with the tile, uh, there's a sheet of glass. Uh, glaze over top of all these tiles and that stuff will splinter and get in your eyes so it's very important to wear safety glasses for that. What we're going to do is say I want a little triangle here I can take my tile cutters and pinch right there. Now I've got my little tile. I can trim that up a little bit if I want and make any shape I want. A little bit of mastic you want a small amount on the back, thick enough that it's going to stick out a little but not too much that it's going to smear out the sides when you put it on. We're done with this so that's how it would go on but you just put it on just like this. Just a little smush out the side, make sure there's good contact and it's flat and you're done. Here's the bucket of mastic. Um, it's really cool because it comes with uh, it comes pre-mixed. It's easy to use, and as long as you keep the lid on, it's not going to dry out. Unlike thin set mortar, which you need to mix up as you use it. So if you're gonna if you decide to use thin set on a mosaic, you want to mix a little bit at a time. Um, maybe a small cup or something. Mix it up use it and then mix some more. Um, so either way works just fine. My personal preference is thin set because 
One, it's more traditional, and two, it's easier to work with once it's dry. It'll scrape a lot easier than the Mastic, which has kind of a rubbery texture. Um, and if you decide you want to make changes later, it's a lot easier. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to do with grouting is we have some grout here. It comes in a dry form. Um, just loose powder and uh, it's kind of like concrete. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up. You want a good mixing bit like that and a low speed high torque drill. Um, this thing's beast and it works great. And we're going to put some water in here and mix it up. So what I've done here is we had a bunch of different little segments of salvage grout. Just took different bags, mixed them all up in this trash can here, just dumped them all in and used this to mix them dry. That way we have one unified color and we can use different grouts that we found. So another salvage material thing. You want to start with a little bit of water at first. You can always add more. It doesn't take much. To cake batter, you ideally want about waffle mix. That's a good consistency right there. Works in your fingers pretty well, and that'll smear into a joint. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to start grouting. We've got two basic tools for grouting. You've got a grout float. It's this uh, little firm kind of rubber plastic with a foam backing so it can flex enough but it's still firm and doesn't get worn away by this grout which is very abrasive. It comes with a handle and an aluminum plate that allows it to stiffen. Your other thing is a sponge. Um, sponge you're going to use to wipe off and also I find that this uh, coarse thing comes in really handy when you're trying to clean off the tiles. So got my bucket of water, my bucket of grout, we're just going to start grouting here. Start by taking some of it. You're just going to smear it into your cracks here. You can see right here, I've got some unevenness in the tiles, which is why it's a little more challenging with mosaics. But that'll come along when I get the sponge out. How quickly do you need to work with this grout? This grout will set up in maybe about an hour, so you should only mix what's going to take you less than an hour to put up. It'll get harder to work with as you go along. It's easiest at the beginning, and then it'll get harder as you go. Can you add water to soften it up? Uh, if you mixed it too, um, too coarse at the beginning, you can, but pretty much you wanna avoid that if you can. Um, softening it up, grout does not uh, dry, it hardens, so. Um, it's going to firm up just like concrete over time regardless of how much water you add. You can see right there, uh, the sponge goes in, leaves a nice little groove. And uh, you can use that side to scrub if you need to, if there's any hard spots. Like right here, you've got that mirror which is in a lot farther. So I'm actually going to take the sponge and go in a little further on that one spot. Um, so the mosaic will take a little longer than normal grouting, but the process is still the same. Working on it. Smearing it all in.